Hello and welcome to Coffee Chat with me, Jody Misiak. Today I want to share a little story with you. Uh, maybe it'll res um, resonate with you, or maybe you can find some of the hidden nuggets of wisdom throughout this story. So grab your coffee or tea and come chat with me today. So I was grabbing a mug, actually this mug, out of the cupboard probably a month or so ago, maybe a little bit more. And I realized I wanted to share this story with you here on Coffee Chat. It seemed just, just right. So on this mug, I'm not sure if you can read it. There's a glare. Anyways, there is a saying and it says summer, well, it's a logo from one of my favorite places. Summer House Park is calling. I must go. And when I grabbed this mug, it used to hold so much meaning to me and it still does because it represents one of my favorite spots in Ontario. And it put a huge smile on my face. Nothing is calling me anymore. I had this place in Ontario that in the winter, you know, it was cold and snowy and, and things and it was closed down because it's for camping and has cottages and stuff like that. So I would wait all winter long longing for this place that made me feel so good inside. That was what I called my happy place. And I literally would only go there for a week, a week in a year. And I had this amazing Ness, like it just made me feel so good. I loved walking on the roads and there and just, it was just this really homey, amazing feeling. And I've been going there since I was a kid. Uh, we camped there. And then as I got older, I would rent um, a cottage with my husband and kids. And I absolutely love it there. And I'd only spend a week. So what did it put a smile on my face? I now live in a place that represents everything I loved about Summer House here. Now it's not a campground or doesn't you don't rent cottages, but I live, literally live in an area that is called cottage country. This used to just be cottages where my house sits now. Uh, most people just venture on a ferry and spend their summers here. And they're still um, in, the, in the summer, you see like a huge influx of people come because there are people that still just have summer homes here. or um, or just rent out in the summertime. So it's really incredible. And it was just like, whoa, that happened. Like I used to want this place, Summer House Park. Like I drank out of this mug all winter long. And I was just like, oh, it's calling and I must go, but I have to wait months till it opens. And even after it opens, I usually would wait months because it was about a three hour, a three and a half hour drive from where I live. That's why I didn't go there as often. You know, it was a dedication to get there and uh, to rent a cottage, you know, cost money and stuff like that and the plan and all that fun jazz. Anyways, it was an excuse. And at the same time, I had this like happy place that I only visited once a year from a week. Now I did have my grandma's cottage too. That was about 25 minutes away. So it was, came up a very close second to my happy place. It had water and stuff like that. So I did have that as well to like give me my water and stuff, but Miller Lake, like summer house on Miller Lake was my happiest place. So it was just like, wow, I am now living and there's no snow that I have to worry about most of the time. We did have snow this year, um, but I now can walk down the street. I can walk to the beach and the roads that line to the, like, or, you know, the roads that head towards the beach from here remind me of the roads the back you know little laneways in my favorite place and it's just it's incredible what we can manifest when we allow so I also want to share another little um like amazing moment here I did want to spend more time at summer house I knew I want to spend all my summer there I even tried to look for a trailer and a lot of the time they were out of my, my budget or I just, I didn't like how far back they were in the park. 
I just didn't like it. And then there was a huge waiting list. It was crazy. Even before everybody wanted trailers, there was a waiting list because it's that amazing of a park. Um, so I tried, I tried to get a trailer there. It just it wasn't, it never lined up. And now I look at it and I go, thank goodness it didn't. I don't know if we ever would have moved if I didn't, if, if we would have had a trailer there, because it would have been one more thing we would have had to take care of before moving. Um, and I might've just been happy enough, like kind of, you know, half, you know, fixing my, my water issue problem, even though that's really not what it like. Anyways, another topic for another day. <laughs> anyways, It was unanswered prayers. If that, who knows what would have happened if we did have a trailer there. I might have, we still might have moved because we couldn't visit it when we had that summer when everybody, like it's all closed down still. Who knows? It wasn't full access. And now I know exactly what I want and it was full access. I want to live it, breathe it, be it in every day, every being. I want to wake up and be here. So you know, maybe to say a little silent prayer for any of those unanswered prayers. I think about a breakup I had that led me to my self-love journey. I was devastated. You know, you get to know somebody for over a year and you get really close and it was really, it broke my heart. However, if that didn't happen, I wouldn't have been on my self-love journey. And then I met my husband a year later. So it's those unanswered prayers, you know, they, it might feel really crappy, really ugh, in that moment. Like I was so upset that I couldn't get a trailer lined up for this, this um, my happy place. However, I got so much more. You just sometimes have to be patient and focus on the present, send a little love and have a little faith. And, you know, just be gentle and loving to yourself and the process and, and just everything. But um, you never know. Sorry, just look at my notes for a quick second. You never know what's right around the corner. You really don't. And um, this, this mug is like, will forever be a reminder of what I thought was only pot, like I thought I could only have live in my happy place for a week at a time or at the most um, uh, a summer cycle, you know, from open season in May till October. Never did I think bigger than that until I did. And I'm like, oh, there's more. <laughs> when you know what's right, it's right. And if you're forcing and pushing and something's not happening, Go and have some fun. Ease up a little. Shake it out. And just be. And other things will come in. Other ideas might come in. Or maybe that thing you desperately want will happen. You got to allow and just chill out a little bit. What you need or what you truly want deep within is waiting for you. Just got to relax. Enjoy your coffee. Whatever it may be and get to know yourself a little bit better. And little by little, you'll wake up one day and go, wow, is this a dream or is this really happening? I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day and a beautiful month. And I'll talk to you um, in March, the first Thursday in March. Cheers, bye for now.